Hello, this is Cody and welcome to the channel. Today we're out here in the beautiful 55 plus community in Goodyear called Pebble Creek. If you haven't heard of this community, you're really missing out. It's one of the more premier communities in um, Arizona out here. It is very well done. It has all the amenities you could ask for. It's gated, it's in a great location. So we're gonna go through all the amenities today, really go through the whole community, give you a great feel for what it's like in here. We'll do a house tour at the house I'm at here later in the video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's start off here with one of the best things of this community, and that is the location. It is pretty centrally located out here in the Southwest Valley. As you can see, it's right off the 303 and the I-10, so you can hop on the freeways and get anywhere you need to go in Phoenix. It's only a 26 minute drive to downtown Phoenix in the airport. And so this community is guarded and gated. So this is driving up into the community and you can see up here, we'll get a little bit closer, but that is the guard tower up there on the left. So there's a gate there. Guests will check in with the guard, tell them what they're doing in the community and the guard can let them in. And residents have a clicker. They can just go in on the right side. And real quick, I do offer a free 55 plus community guide. It has a ton of information. It compares the different fees of all the different communities, the amenities, the price points. It's just a great resource. So go ahead and send me an email and I can send that right over to you for free. To start here, we are at one of the two community clubs that you have access to. This is the Eagle's Nest Club. We'll get to the other club later in the video, but this club has a ton of stuff to do. It has a pool, a restaurant in the inside. It has tennis courts outside, a bunch of different things for you to do, and it also has a golf course in the back. And so to have access to these clubs in this community, you pay your yearly HOA fee, which is just over $2,700 per year. And so that works out to about $227 a month. So um, if you'd like to compare that with what other communities are charging, just send me an email and I have a spreadsheet that goes ahead and compares all of the different communities. So you can get a, re a really good idea of where this one stands. So you saw that room over there. There was a couple people in there. Um, that was a card room. So people will get together with friends, play cards or dominoes or whatever it is. And this is more of a lobby area. And then over there you can see is part of the restaurant and the bar. So over here, you can see this is the golf course on the backside of the Eagle's Nest Club. It's a beautiful golf course. This is where you'll pick up your, um, your golf cart if you're going to rent one, or you can park your golf cart here if you have your own. Come up, use the bathroom, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat. This is a restaurant over here. So over there on the far side, there were a lot more seats and chairs. Um, it was pretty busy over there, but this side was pretty empty. So I'm sure it does get pretty busy in the evening. You can see there's a ton of seating out here, a bunch of different options. And then over here, you can just imagine having lunch here or dinner with this beautiful view. We'll get more into the golf courses in this community a little later in the video. So um, don't worry, I'm not skipping that. We'll get to it. And then right over here by the restaurant and the golf area is this community club's pool. So this pool was pretty empty. I was there early in the morning. Everyone was out playing pickball, pickleball or golf or riding their bikes. Um, but there are, every club does have their own pool in this community. So I don't foresee any of the pools getting too busy. I'm sure they get a little busy in the summer, but, um, there are a lot of different options. So if one's too busy, you just head down the street to the next club and try that one out. And here we're still at the Eagle's Nest Club. So this is their sports complex. They have a nice seating area out here. They of course have all their different courts out here, their pickleball and their tennis, um, there's a ton of different courts in this community. You'll see um, them at the other club. There's a lot of different options here if you want to do outdoor activities. And so over here, are we're in the same area. These are the bocce ball courts that they have out here. There were quite a few people playing out there, but it wasn't too busy. And then here's a little bit of a better look at the tennis courts. And if pickleball is more your style, I know that's the big thing right now. Um, the other club that we're going to take a tour of here in a minute has a huge selection of pickleball courts. It was crazy busy. There were a ton of people playing out there. So it's really awesome. We're going to get to that here in a minute. So I promise they do have pickleball. So the other big fee that you're going to need to worry about in this community is a one-time capital improvement fee when you move into the community. You only pay this once and it's twenty, just over $2,700, the same as the HOA. So that goes towards improving the community and most 55 plus communities have this sort of fee. So it's nothing unusual. So this is driving up to the other club in this community, the Tuscany Club. This is an awesome club in here. They have a pool in the back. Um, they have a golf course, ton of different stuff. Honestly, this was probably my favorite club of the two. 
Um, I just loved, you can see the Tuscan design here. It's a little bit different, a little unique, a little bit rustic, but I really liked it a lot. And then inside here, you can see they stick with that Tuscany and rustic theme. It's really well done, really elegant. And then walking over here is kind of, uh, there's a cafe over there. You can see where those people are sitting. And then this is kind of a little library reading area. You can grab your coffee, come over here, hang out by the fireplace, read a book, drink your coffee, hang out with some friends, whatever it is. I just can't get over the way they styled this club, how unique it is. It's it's just so well done. It's probably, this is probably my favorite 55 plus community club that I've been in in all the different communities. I just think it's so unique and so well done, really. And so walking down here, this is the same club, just a different wing of it. It is a very big club. Over there, you can see there are some card rooms. In here is the billiards room, so people are in there playing pool. And you can see, just like the other club, they have a bunch of different meeting rooms, card rooms. Um, you can get together with friends in there. You can see they're playing cards in there, doing a puzzle. Um, so there's just a lot of stuff to do with these different clubs and a lot of gathering areas. And this is still at the Tuscany Club, as you can see. We're out here in a little courtyard, very, very peaceful. There were string lights out here, the trees, and then this really cool rock fountain with this natural rock. It was just very peaceful and quiet out here. Just a really nice touch. And off of this courtyard is a restaurant. So jumping back inside here near the restaurant, you can see this bar in here where they serve beers. Um, and then over there is just your entryway. And then right on the other side of this is the ballroom. So they have big conferences in here. They have a stage, a bunch of big meetings, and then they'll clear this all out and do balls and dances in here and stuff like that. So we're still here at the Tuscany Club. This is on the back side. This is their restaurant. They have some outdoor seating here with views of the golf course. So speaking of golf, um, they do offer an annual membership if you would like to do that. They have two championship 18-hole courses in this community. If you want to pay for unlimited play on both courses annually, it's $4,220. You do have options for discounted resident daily fees um, to play daily if you don't play that much or they have a senior discount if you're 62 or older. Here we are still at the Tuscany Club. Um, you can see the beautiful grass on the side, the trees on the right, and then over there in the background, you can see it a little bit, are the pickleball courts. They were so busy, I thought a tournament was going on, but it turns out it's just a normal day. So they're really big into their pickleball here. Um, I couldn't get too close to record them. And then here's the pool. They have an indoor pool in that building on the back and then all their outdoor pools here. So there's a lot of seating options and shade out there. So it was a really nice pool. Now we're gonna get into the homes in this community. So as you can see here, there are quite a few different models in here, a lot of different options. This community began construction in 1993, so you can get homes as old as that in the 90s, um, which really isn't too old, but they also have brand new homes in this community. So you can get a brand new home, you can get a 90s home, or something in between, depending on what you're looking for, what your needs are. So there are a lot of options there for homes. And here we are going to tour one of the homes in this community. So walking into the living room, they have a lot of natural light in this house. And this home is two bedrooms, two bath, and just over 1,600 square feet. This house was built in 2002, so it's not super old, but it's definitely not one of the brand new homes that they offer in this community. At the time of this recording, this home was listed at 455000 So homes in this community range anywhere from 350000 all the way up to about 1.4 million. This community is not known for its super high-end luxurious homes, but there are some of them on the golf course that are super, super nice. So you can find something in the middle and the lower range or way up high if you're into the luxury and really love this community. This community, I think, is, is really a great community. I mean, the location, you can't beat. You can get anywhere in the valley really easily, but the freeway system and I mean, the prices in this community are very reasonable, in my opinion, when you compare it to some of the other luxurious 55 plus communities. And the clubs and the amenities in this community, you really can't beat. I absolutely loved that Tuscany club, the way they did it in there. It was so unique. And then the Eagle's Nest Club is very nice as well. They have very reasonably priced homes in here, like I mentioned. Um, you know, you don't have to spend a ton to get in here. So I think it's a great community. It really is a good option. And this is truly one of my favorite 55 plus communities here in Phoenix.
when comparing this community with the other 55 plus communities, I think it stacks up really well as far as the amenities go, the homes, and the location is a big separator here. I think it's in the perfect spot and it's just such a nice community. Thank you guys for joining me on the tour of Pebble Creek. I hope I was able to show you everything this community has to offer and give you a really good feel for what it's like in here. If you guys need any information or want that 55 plus guide, reach out to my information on the screen. Just send me an email. I have that 55 plus guide. I'll send it over to you right for free. It's a great resource for when you're doing your research. And if you guys have any questions, I am a realtor here in Phoenix. I do a ton of work in these 55 plus communities. So if you have any questions, just reach out to me anytime or drop something in the comments. See you guys at the next one.